So you may have heard a lot of news lately about a Dr. Ello. He's a cardiologist and he's actually from my old hometown, Toledo, Ohio. Um, so I was born and raised in Toledo. Uh, now I don't live in that area anymore, but I know I have um, some friends that live in Toledo and people that I used to know pretty well and so forth that live in Toledo. And uh, this is the cardiologist, one of the cardiologists that you have to work with in Toledo, um, which really kind of scares me for my friends and so forth. Uh, this guy is really something, some of the things that he says. You know, one of the reasons why he's kind of been in the news a bit lately here uh, is just because of what he's been claiming on social media and so forth. Look at this tweet or whatever it is from X now, I guess, that he put out. Type 2 diabetes is genetic. You must have the genes for it. And then lifestyle matters. Let's not overcomplicate this. Uh, you know, basically he's saying that, you know, you're only going to get diabetes if it's genetic and it has nothing to do with what you eat, how you live your life, any of that stuff. That That's just completely insane. Uh, Dr. Sean Baker recently had a video out where he was talking about this and um, Professor Bart Kay has, you know, had his own videos out about Dr. Ello. And uh, it, it's just insane, some of the stuff he's saying. Look at this tweet here. Why would tricks be unhealthy? It's just food. And then somebody responds saying, it's not food. And then he says, if you can eat it and it's composed of carbs, fats, protein, it's just food. Um, so essentially, since sugar, for instance, is carbs, he's got no problem with you eating a bunch of sugar. Going back to his type 2 diabetes, is it really genetic or is it all the sugar that he's telling his patients they can eat? That That's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm almost speechless with some of the things that he's saying. And this one really gets me. He says, once a group of researchers falsifies data, lies, publishes material that is blatantly made up, you really can't trust anything they publish or say. It's really the laughing stock of Twitter. So he believes that saturated fat is bad for you. Eating meat is a problem. And um, he believes that eating sugar is okay. And, you know, there's, there's confirmation that the sugar industry paid off those researchers 50, 60 years ago, whenever that was. Um, and there's been multiple studies since that there's been, you know, researchers paid off to say that to, you know, downplay that sugar was a problem and to say that saturated fat was a problem. Yet he doesn't think that that's a problem. So he's using his own agenda here. And, you know, if there are, there's something that he believes in, he doesn't think that they're falsifying data, even though it's been proven that that data was falsified and that they were paid off. I mean, it, he does not sound credible to me at all. And again, he's in my old hometown, Toledo, Ohio, as a cardiologist. I don't know if any of my old friends or family or anything like that have him as a cardiologist but if they do i'm really scared for them because i don't think he has a clue what he's doing and you know he tried to take on bart k and you, you're not going to take on bart k and win that battle because bart just it, it, he's got so much experience so much schooling and you know he's written so many papers himself and so forth that you're, you're just not going to be able to win that battle. And he took on Bart K and look what recently happened. Uh, he is no longer going to be speaking at our conference in May. So the public health collaboration dropped him from, you know, speaking in that conference now. And uh, it's funny, you know, you see all these things about him being a double board certified cardiologist. It's even listed in this bio here, this, um, when this announcement was made here and so forth. Uh, I don't care if he's double board certified or not. You know, th the fact that he thinks that tricks is a healthy food to eat and that there's no problem with eating sugar. The fact 
that he says that type 2 diabetes is just something that's genetic and the way you eat doesn't make it that way, that that's just insane. And, you know, I mean, I don't normally um, call anybody out like this and so forth. Uh, that's not my style of my videos, but I just had to put out this video because if you haven't already seen this from either Dr. Um, Sean Baker or Professor Barquet or, you know, I think Dave Max has some information out there about him. Um, you know, you, you really need to be aware that, that this guy is out there. And, and if you live in the Toledo area, he's a cardiologist. And just be careful because um, he's probably hurting a lot of patients, telling them that it's okay to eat trick cereal and whatever sugars and so forth, you know. Um, and, oh, yeah, you got type 2 diabetes. I'm sorry. There's, you know, nothing you can do about it. It's genetic. You're just going to have to take these medications instead of actually getting them to eat healthy. And then they could get off those medications like so many people have with either the carnivore diet or a low carb diet. Um, you know, it's just mind boggling that he would be okay with patients eating sugar or whatever it is they want to eat and just feeling that there's nothing they can ever do about it because it was genetics and, um, they're just, you know, going to have to take medicine for the rest of their lives. That's ridiculous. So let me know in the comments what you think. And, you know, I, I, I guess it's a good thing that he's no longer going to be speaking at this conference. Um, cause he would have been probably spreading his inaccurate message to lots of other people.